Good morning, folks. It's a beautiful day out at the lake. Beautiful morning out at the lake. I'm out here with the Animal 2. Uh, just got her all taped up. Uh, I am running 45 14 props with uh, OSC spacers because the props were a little. Uh, A little shorter than the 45 19 props um, so let's see we got 12 satellites trick start stop read zero trick start uh, windy conditions uh, I'm not gonna go charging into the wind uh, I don't think that'd be too smart. Uh, lake levels have dropped significantly. Got to watch out for rocks. But uh, yeah, I'm trying out this 45-14 prop. Looking for a good daily driver prop to keep temps cool but speeds decent. Like I said, that 45-14 prop is a little shorter than the uh, standard prop so I needed a spacer which I got from OSE because I didn't feel like grinding out new spots from a drive dog and whatnot so uh, let's run her with the wind see what she's doing That looked pretty fast. Uh, from my understanding on the 45-14 prop, she should be able to turn a little faster. But for shits and giggles, let's see what she did on that pass. Stop. Read. It was 81. Um, So yeah, this prop is, I would say this prop is about three, three to four miles faster, mile per hour faster. 81, track, start. So yeah, I would say that this prop is a little bit faster than the 4519. Uh, I'm curious to see what the temps will be like. but it looks like she's airing out nice. She's not running wet. And she's up to speed. Let's get some general running in. Before this boat isn't the best in the turns, but she'll get the job done. But she's fast. Uh, after I do a run for a decent amount of time, I'm gonna bring her back in and check the temps. Gotta watch out there, that's the shallow end down there. Uh, that was a bit of a longer run. See how she takes off from the stop. Oh, yeah, she jumped out of the water. And 
that was only just a little throttle blip. That wasn't even getting on it. I'm liking how this uh, 4514 is performing. Uh, it'll depend on the temps too when we bring her back in. Especially turning into this kind of chop. We get one more long pass in and then we'll bring her in for uh, check the temps. through, pull off the motors, pull off the ESCs. Of course the water flow looks good. Let's bring her in and check the temps. Of course I'm in goose shit alley. Get her over to the table, do some temp checks. <coughs> I found that using clear hockey tape works well instead of the uh, like the dynamite branded uh, hatch tape um, just look for clear hockey tape um, the kind that has that like yellowish hue to it does not stick as well as the brighter white hue hockey tapes uh, but that's on another subject all right Get this hatch off. Turn her off. Some flotation out. All right. So what do we got? We got one twenty-three, one sixteen. 132, 130, I would say. 134. So in the 130s on the ESC, and the motor can is 102, water jacket, 111, other motor, 
103. Order jacket is 101. Let's see what the cap look like. Temp on the caps. 130, 140, oh. 143. So I think it was a good run. Temps were are cooler slightly. Um, then running on 4519. Uh, forgot to do the second speed check. Uh, stop, read, 81. So you get a consistent 81 on the 4514 in slightly cooler temps versus uh, between 78, 78 and 79 on a 4519 prop uh, with the temps being a little bit higher. Um, so yeah, I would go um, with the 4514 and you know, OSC spacers right there. Um, Seems to be a good prop. Uh, I would not run packs back to back. I would give it time to cool. Um, but I'm still gonna be, uh, I guess I'll be trying 42 14s next or 42 16s. Um, they're either 42 millimeters. Um, they are shorter props and they will need, I will be using the spacers on those. Um, so I'm gonna drop down to a 42 millimeter non abc prop so it's not a high rake um to see what the speeds and temps i get from that but uh yeah that's about it gopro stop recording gopro stop recording